Hi guys, Paul here from PA Brew News, Painting with PA Brew News, episode 33 right now. So we have a, uh, something a little different. We have a smaller canvas. This is actually a 12 by 12 that I just picked up. Uh, they're really fun to do because they're thick. They're a thicker frame. So you can actually just paint around the all, all sides of them. And then that way you don't need to frame up. But they, they definitely, just the size and the easiness of, of being able to prepare it, uh, the, the designs that you can put on various ones. And they're they're relatively inexpensive depending on where you go, but they make great they great gifts and people like to buy them. You know to hang on cabins and stuff. They don't take a lot of space, but you can put a lot of stuff on there for the size that they are. And again, because of the the, the fact that you can kind of paint all around them, I always thought that was pretty cool. Uh, I have a large one up there. I did a couple feet long. I think it's like three by five or something like that. That it has a nice kind of deer scene like this on there too. So. We're going to kind of come up with some kind of like a hunter's paradise kind of scenario. You're in deep in the woods there. You can see the, the deer in the, in the silhouette, that kind of thing. So probably going to do like a little sun, like morning sunrise, sunset. And then we're going to probably, I think we're just going to put it in the, uh, the fall. You know, I'm looking really for, looking forward to it. They had a, had a pretty good day today. Um, got the kids to school and stuff, did a little ATV ride and stuff. And just not tired. So I figured, let's go and paint a painting. Why not? We're having fun, so let's do this. But right now we have a black gesso. That's all we did, just black gesso. Made a little thing. All the white is just the right of the canvas. The white of the canvas, right of the canvas, blah, blah, blah. white of the canvas. Sorry, my tongue got over my eye tooth. Couldn't see what I'm saying. <laughs> okay. All right, so there's uh, just black. And it's just, you know, put the little silhouette of the deer there. Made him sure he's like a trophy trophy buck for sure. Lots of antlers on that one. But uh, lots of spikes and points. And then just let it dry. Over that, a thin, thin, thin coat of liquid clear. You don't have liquid clear. You use linseed oil and other various things that would be good for the medium. As long as it's wet and slick, this will work. So let's go. And I'm just going to come over here, grab a one-inch brush, one of our smaller brushes. And I'm going to put a little... Uh, a little yellow on here. Now I didn't test. There are various different yellows you can get, obviously. I did not test if this is a transparent yellow. To do that, take your the yellow, you put it on the darkest part, and if you rub it in, and it kind of starts blending in with the background, transparent enough. If it still looks yellow, there you go. We're going to find out right now. And it's transparent. Look at that. So I'm just going to sweep some here. I'm not going to just do a complete blotch, but I'm, I'm going to add a couple. I'm going to put a little Indian yellows on there as well, yellow ochre, which is a nice, beautiful golden yellow, which is very transparent. I'm going to probably pop it right about, right about here. Nice golden color. Maybe some down here. All right, I think I'm going to little, little touch, 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 little touch, touch of the bright red, just up here, let it all blend together. And then back there from what we put before, you can still see little nuances of trees and bushes and stuff. They're still showing through the paint. And that's what the nice thing about having the transparent color is. And we're just scrubbing all the color that we have in the brush right onto the canvas. That's it. Just to give us a nice little colorful background to work with. Now, shoot, might as well just use the same old brush. Just pull it through some white. And if you've painted with me before, I think you know what we're going to go for here. I'm going to go for a little morning mist, I guess you want to call it. So we're just going to tap some morning mist right in the areas you think the mist would be sitting. And everyone sees nature through different eyes, and you've had different experiences. Probably put some up in the clouds, too. Why not? Morning mist kind of floats everywhere and you can roll that in that's one way you can do it you just roll it or you can tap it and just give it little x strokes 
and that'll fog everything up. Yeah. Usually when I do this, I just put a little bit on because you can always go back and get more. All right. A little bit more. And you just fog according to taste. And actually it is really nice when you actually get a nice little firm, soft layer on and then you accent it. But when you accent it, try not to touch the tops of the mist. Just the base when you roll it around. So it kind of gives it that kind of weird... Just kind of lift it up a little bit. Two hairs and some air, basically. Just kind of touch the tops and then softly go over it. And it kind of gives it this cloudy, beautiful cloudy appearance still. One thing we haven't done in a while is clouds. So here soon we're going we're gonna to get some clouds going. All right. Down here, I'm going to take the old same brush again. Did a little bit of crimson. A little bit of brown. Crimson and brown. Just a little bit of a, it's a little light sienna and, and brown. We're just going to, yeah. Just a dirty color. We're just going to dirty it up a little bit. A bit more just the brown. We don't care what happens here. Then make sure you do the same thing on the other side. Remember, we're painting around all the sides of this canvas, so you know, just no big deal. No big deal. Then down at the bottom, yeah, you guessed it, darker brown. You guessed it. And when we do this, then, it'll make our highlights show up against that dark color. <laughs> there. Just like that. Good. All right. Now I'm going to clean the brush. Odorless paint thinner. Scrub it down and smack it around. Get the paint off of it. Good. Now let's see what we got going on here. I'll use the one inch brush again a little bit too, I think. Okay. I'm going to go back in some of that reddish brown that we made earlier. Mix it with a little bit of dark brown just to get the idea of some. Put some tree note tones in. Just a mix of red, brown, red and browns. See all these trees here? We're going to start accenting a little bit closer trees. That might be around here. Kind of want everything soft though. Soft, subdued. I don't want a lot of crystal clear stuff. I just want soft things happening. But more, the more layers that you try to put in here, the more it'll push things back and give it that distance feel. Just like this. Put little bushes way back there. You can barely see them. But they're back there. Okay. A little bit more. I'm going to go just straight in a black. More brown. Then are here on the outside here. Make another layer. Just like that. See? Make sure the sides, you're doing the sides too. So tap it down the sides. Give it the top. Hit the top. It's alright. Same thing on this side. Little dark brown, just a touch of black. Just so we have flavor the color. Play with the texture. Do the same thing right here. Look at that. And that already adds. Doo -doo 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 -doo. All you're doing is tapping in some dark color. Adds another plane 
right here. That, see? And you just keep adding different planes and different planes. Now we can actually start putting little highlights on there, though. Okay. We're just going to highlight the tree a little bit. I actually, I'm just going to go right into like, yellow. I figured just right, out, right into yellow with a little white in it. There you go. A whitish yellow. Okay. Now we're just going to softly touch some of these things in the background. Just highlight some things way in the back. But the light would be so strong you could barely see some of these things. And we'll just tap them in. Just like that. And we can go a little bit darker. I have a little bit of an orange mixture here. flavoring just change the flavor and we're just gonna just tap tap downward just makes another little layer or plane just like that there. okay get a little bit of a I just want right here I just want a little bit of a I just want something to stand out just here there just a, it's a real bright bush to stand out, to break up the flavor of what's going on. Just another one right here. There. See all these things in the background? I think that makes, a, makes it really interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah, something like that. Now, before I even clean the brush, I'm just going to go through a little crimson. Crimson and bright red color. And we're gonna we're just gonna accent some of these. Not a lot. Not a lot of color. Just something. Just a little color. There. Same thing on the other side. Don't leave it out. Just tap a little bit. It's beautiful colors. Beautiful fall colors. I love, I've always, something about doing these, a lot of these highlighted trees in crimson. We'll leave some of this alone. See, I don't want to kill all of it. But, yeah, doing some of these highlighted trees in, in crimson just, I just like it. Makes me, makes me feel good. Do some of the sides on them. Try not to just hit it at random. Try to think about what you're doing, but. See how it gets darker and darker and darker as you're moving away? That's what you want. That's what you want. Make sure you do the tops. Just tap some color onto the tops. It's all right. It's fine. As long as you do it. Now you can't, because of the... You might have to touch it up a little bit after you get it off the, off the easel here to get all the nicks and crannies, but you'll get in there. Now I want to switch it up. I want to get into my, ooh, I love my oval brushes. So we're going to go through the white again. We're going to pull it sharply through the white, tap some white in. I'm going to go back to that yellow color. Yellow, yellow, yellow. Okay. There we go. Let's see. We're just going to find some little bushes that kind of hang here and just love life. Okay. Again, we're changing the flavor of some of these things. Just where you'd think light would kind of zing through here. I think we have a lot of the light coming through this way. So it's going to be more on this side. So some of these will just, and if you have any problem paint sticking, just add the least, least touch of paint thinner. Because the golden rule is a thin paint, stick to a thick paint. Okay, so I just want to have a little bit of a, there, just little things that kind of zing here. Not too much though, because you'll ruin it. You'll ruin the effect. Just little things. Okay, 
little bit darker on the other side. There's still some light shooting through there, so. Still some light shooting through. Right here. Ooh, I see it. Right there. Look at that. That little bush sitting right there. I think it has a nice little dark one sitting next to it. Let's see. Right. Oh yeah. Ooh, that's nice. That was a nice one. Sometimes you can do you throw them right here. Most dark one right there. Okay. All right. Before we get too far, take a little liner brush, a little liner brush, a little paint thinner, a little dark brown, a little dark brown. Kind of wiggle it in and, and turn it. It'll sharpen, sharpen it to a point, and it'll actually help load the brush full of color. Take that mixture I had of white and yellow, and we're just going to pull down right here. Oh, there's a tree. And wait. There's another one. <laughs> Just make these little noises. It helps. Helps me anyway. People think you're weird, but that's all right. Just put little. Now, at, I always like to do it after I do the trees. I like to go and. Add a little bit of, a little bit more color, just to make sure you have enough. There you go, branches, little things, shoots off. Nice thing, here's the one, oh, there it is. There, that's where it lives. Sometimes you can see things coming down from the branches coming out of the other trees, like that. Because they grow everywhere, they don't care. They grow every which way. Maybe some way in the background you don't see. Maybe that be, might be one going right over the deer. Let's see. Let's, let's see. Yep, there he is. Sneaky. There. Big branch. Covers right up. Big branch right there. See? Little things. Just sticks and twigs. Flick it up. Do little things. Helps create the illusion of distance. Take a little knife. Oh, he's about 16 Lahannon. Just especially in the scratching a couple things. Scratching some ticks and twigs and things living here. Every bush needs every little bush needs some sticks and twigs to help it stand up, so scratch a couple in there. Okay, there you go. Now I'll tell you, I like. Okay, give me some. Pull out a little paint, and I'm just going to cut a little bit of a thin little doodly doo right there. We're going to come over here and. Oh, oh, hurt. I'm going to put some stuff right here. I think a little bit more. I'm gonna put one over here too. Let's see. Ugh. Ugh.
mixture of white and brown. I already had it pre-mixed. I like to do a little white and brown, and I oh white and black rather, and I like to do a white and brown. And you just shoo, shoo, glide, so soft, no pressure. It'll give you back what it wants, and it'll take what it wants. Okay, it's just just like that. Push up, pull down, push up, pull down. It makes the effect of beautiful little ledges, rock ledges, just like that. A little dirt. Just, just cut it like that, it'll clean up the edge. There's a little dirt. Maybe there's a little path that walks through here. I don't know. Just like that. <laughs> Good. Okay. I'll tell you what. Yeah, okay, fine. I was thinking about it. Take that one of these one inch brushes I had. We're just going to clean it up. Put the little bit of that white yellow on it. Not a lot. We don't need a lot. For what we're doing, we don't need a lot. This will be the brightest area in here, so we'll just down. Just down. Again, if you want a specific bright area. A little bit more of that white. White-yellow combination. We'll say that's the brightest area right here. Straight down. Straight down. And it mixes automatically with that color underneath. And then you go across. And automatically... You have beautiful water. Okay, so we'll go back to that color here, and I'm just gonna go uh, uh, clean up that edge. Maybe put a little things of dirt on there. Tell you what, we got time. A little black on each side. We're gonna pull it through a little bit of that that white color. Let's see if we can do this. Let's see. Take a little stones. Take a little bit more white. Get that white color on there. Just making little pebbles. Little stones. They live everywhere. They live all around the water. So, See, when, But when you get up in here, you want the ones that have a little bit of light to them. But they can get darker when they're away from light. Okay. Okay. Back here, you want maybe there's a couple up here, a couple here, here. I don't know, whatever. Let's see them here. There. Maybe they get big. Some of them are big. Right here. Oh, there's a big one. There's a couple big ones actually. Here too. Burp, burp, couple, just around the water here, and I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, what a good idea, what a good place for it anyway, a little path we were talking about, right here, take a little bit, get a little fan brush, see if I have a smaller fan brush just in case, I do have a smaller one somewhere, there's the little, oh, there's the little guy right there, small, Teeny fan brush. Gonna take a little bit of paint thinner, scrub out most of it, just a little bit. Scrub off most of it. Take it right through that white. 
Any yellow? Just right here. So, bloop, bloop, bloop. I think you need a little bit more white. A lot of times when you're dealing with stuff like smoosh it in, push it in both sides, pull it flat. There you go. Sometimes when you're dealing with bloop, there it is. Bloop. Push it in, smoosh it in. Oh, there it is. When you're dealing with things like paint thinner, you have to make sure you have to make sure one that you have enough paint thinner to make the paints nice and thin. But sometimes I've noticed you have to make sure they get enough paint on your brush. Otherwise, you're just removing paint as you paint. That's not what you want. Whoosh. There's a little creak. And then they're just kind of pitter sitters out. You want to try to make sure when you do this, see my my the, when I do when I do the painting with PA Brunus, I'm to the side, which is hard. So you want to make sure that when you get when you do your painting at home, you want to get in front of it. Make sure that the paint doesn't look like it's trying to fall right out of your drip run over thing. You have to put a bucket outside. If it's like this, it looks like it's trying to run out right out right out of your painting. You don't want that. Now, if anything's too bright, just a beautiful little pool here. Just a little pool. If anything's too bright, you just go over it again and it'll disappear on you. Just rub it and it'll go away. It'll blend with the color automatically that's underneath it. All right. Now, we should have a pretty much clean brush right here. Beat the Dell up, make sure it's clean, and we can just softly, soft, go over that just to make sure it sits down in the painting a little bit better. Take that little, the little knife that we were using for all those little stones. Excuse me, pardon my reach, and cut across that little line of paint, little white line of paint, and just come over here and. And this just helps separate stuff. Okay? If it gets too too bright, just rub it again. It'll keep going away. Okay? There. Okay. Now again, let's go over it with a nice dry brush. Smooth it right out. There. Soft. I like these soft, soft paintings. Good. Okay. Huh. We're doing pretty good. Let's have some fun. Going into some brown. Just brown. Brown, brown, turn brown, 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 brown. Let's see. Mm, yep. Right there. Probably one right here too. Right there. Why not? Okay. That's just putting dark color on. That's all we're doing right that. Let's put some dark color on. So our highlights will show. Cleaning the brush a little bit. Tapping into some yellow ochre. And a little bit of bright yellow. I get a little bit of a variant going on. Okay, just like that. All right. And we're just going to tap and form little tiny bushes. Try not to sock them on at one time. Think about shape and form. Each little bush is different. And try to work in layers. And don't kill the dark between each little bush. Little dark spots like right here and here 
they they help. I know you might not be able to see that from here, but if I move the camera, it might fall over. See that little dark spot between there? That's your friend. Don't lose it. Don't lose it. I think I'm gonna make a nice deep one right in the front. There. Right here. Ooh, wow. Look at that. Right there. Nice. There's layers and layers and layers. Three different at least three different bushes right there. And make sure you do it on the other side. Okay. Gonna go here. We said this was a darker area. Not so many highlights here, so we're gonna go like this. But I want a nice a nice one right there. Let's see. Yellow ochre and white. Brighten it up a little bit. Yellow ochre, white, mm -hmm. yellow, right there. Change the flavor up. Give it a nice one. Ooh. Right there. Add some stuff to the side here. Because remember, we're painting on each side of it. I'm going to put a little bit of bush here. A little bush here. Then we're going to go into the dark colors again. Right here. We're going to put another one, right? Do, 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 right there. Tap, tap, tap. Here. Just like that. Just like that. There. Some bushes. And there might be bushes growing on this side you can't even see because it hasn't reached here, but they're still there. They still grow. Just tap it in. Look at that. Cool. Excellent. All right. We're almost done. Hopefully I'm not taking too much of your valuable time. We'll see where we're at here soon, time-wise. 32. Well, I think we're almost done then. And I'm going to take some brown. And a little black. Mix it together. Brown and black. Brown and black. Black and brown. However you want to say it. And we're going to come right here. We're just going to build us a little tree. Right here. Come right. Right here. Just going to block it out. Figure out where I want it. Right, right here. Right. Oh, right there. That's where she's going to go. Okay. So now we know where she's going. Pop her in. Pop her in. Whew. This is going to be a thick tree. So when this dries, it'll be like real bark. You can feel it on the tree. Okay. And I'm not a lefty, but we'll do it this way too. Strong tree. Strong one. Okay. Right there. All right. Now, the color we were working with before. Boop. Little roll of paint. Just how I made that tree. Little roll of paint and give it a little. All you're doing is giving it a little. Movement, like a half circle. It'll give you, it'll, it'll take what it wants and it'll give you the rest back. Clean off your, your knife and reload it if you need to. Yeah, just like that. Other side. like that. Now you have a beautiful birch tree. Okay. Okay. Good. Take that.
that little liner brush pull a little dark color and we're just gonna come up here and throw a couple little little things coming off him no big deal gotta worry about him too much he's here Now remember, the branches don't just go on the sides. They go on each side of the tree. They start one side, they go to a different one. They don't care. They do whatever they do. Just like that. We go up here. There's a tree that, yeah, just keep falling it that way. Who knows? Okay. Okay. tree up here so boop boop gonna wrap the tree around so we'll give it a little highlight there it is on the top now I see we'll just gonna we're just gonna drop everything good always a good time and then I think we're just gonna go to some white and go into some yellow real quick yeah why don't we do that? Just a bright, a bright tree. We'll just, we'll give him a little, we'll give him a little bit so he doesn't feel left out. There. Doesn't, doesn't stick enough. Give it a little, give it a little bit of paint thinner. And then she'll stick for you. There. Don't need a birch tree hanging with me today. I'm having a good day. So just like that. There. Okay. All right. That's all cleaned up. And here we have it. The. Let's see. I'll just bring you over. There she is. And see there painted on each side too so it keeps going over so there it is well this has been paul painting with pa brew news episode 33 went a little long but i wanted to explain a lot of stuff and i'm just having a good day so i'm good with it anyway till next time cheers <laughs>